Peace, everyone. Um, today we're gonna be acting to Joe Rogan, reacting to Woody Harrelson on the SNL monologue. He was calling out Big Pharma and the pharmaceutical industry. So we're gonna see what he was talking about. He did this on SNL, so it's kind of surprising that he did that. But uh, we're gonna get to the video. That's pretty big, y'all. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and help us get to 600, y'all. Thank you for all the support. <laughs> The Joe Rogan experience. You hear Woody Harrelson on SNS? Yeah. yeah. Did you see that Another immediately after Woody Harrelson had that monologue on SNL where he's joking around about a drug company forcing you to take their drug? Right after it, the next day, there's all these hit pieces. Mm -hmm. Like, like they were timed. Like there's a hit, hit piece in Fox, there's a hit piece in Vanity Fair, there's a mm. hit piece call him an anti-vaxxer and a stoner and a, sucked on cheers <laughs> conspiracy theories he's pushing conspiracy theories no he's no 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 that's not what he's doing he's pushing he's a joke monologue on snl about something that makes people laugh mm -hmm. because you can kind of make a weird comparison to those two that's the only reason why the joke works yeah. yeah the only reason why it works is because people are thinking it like so for you guys to come out and say like oh conspiracy theories doesn't it no it's jokes about a possible conspiracy theory and the one that he's describing isn't even it's not even a real one he's making a joke about what the real one was like not maybe not the best joke maybe not the best delivery it's SNL. but um, <laughs> the fact that that got this immediate response where all these people defend the pharmaceutical company it's because they're so sensitive when it comes to this stuff. Like it's programming. Like yeah. they already know what they're doing. The they news, want people yeah. to think a certain way. So if something is actually the truth, they're gonna make it a lie. Yeah. They don't want you. They don't want people to know the the real message and what's really going yeah. on behind cameras, y'all. The news is like, literally um, magic. It's used to program yeah. people into thinking. Propaganda. Yeah, what they stupid. want them to think, and it's crazy. You, I mean, you can see how people are being programmed is, is if you there. don't believe what we're saying literally you could watch the news for a week and you won't hear any good news like you'll yeah. probably hear one or two good stories but other than that the news is very negative and it pushes yeah. nothing, they're always talking about the same thing they're yeah. gonna talk about trump they're gonna talk about vaccines they're gonna talk deaths. about what side they want yeah. you to like it's they're gonna all rule, they're gonna be they're gonna talk shit on trump but then they're gonna <laughs> lift up biden even though he's not doing nothing at all it's yeah yeah so it's all propaganda companies they're all jumping in and defending them like in unison they're all anti-vax or stoner it's you know instead of saying it's fucked and instead of saying hey stick to acting it's the you know no it's like they all wanted to jump in to defend the vaccine Man. they all wanted to jump in and defend the pharmaceutical companies the programs anti-vaxxer stoner actor who's talking it's, it's just okay. interesting that they all take that route I can criticize the monologue, but all take You see how they put, um, and that's even for weed, like they put all, they try to make the conspiracy theorists and the anti vaxxers with smoking weed and pot. So they try to put all these negative um, words that most people think is negative, even though conspiracy theorists and weed aren't negative. But the news tries to make that stuff negative and then there's people watching it they're going to think those things are negative they're going to put those, they're going to put that all together that round that's an anti-vax conspiracy theory like is it no it's he's joking about a, a way things went down yeah like there's a lot to what he's saying like forcing you to take their drug like that kind of th that kind of was happening and if you weren't getting forced you were certainly getting coerced mm -hmm. you're getting urged on by the government mm -hmm. It was probably a commercial for a medicine right after that. Yeah, probably right away. <laughs> right away. It's not like they're not spending money on all this stuff. Like, it's like, wh why are we pretending? And so when he makes that joke and he talks about them buying all the media and then all the media responds as if they've been bought and paid for. That's pretty <laughs> wild. <laughs> There's so many articles written about him, like right away. Yep. It's like, this is crazy. I always look at both sides, and CNN had it, but also CNN is owned by the same company that owns SNL, so it's tricky because they don't want to make them look bad, but they, you know, angled it like it was him. Yeah. Even though what we know is that the D scripts are approved days in advance.
advance. Yeah, they had to prove that. Unless he went out and Dave Chappelle did. Yeah, he he did. Mm. Dave Dave had two different monologues. <laughs> or Dave, Dave ran one monologue by everybody and killed. And they're like, this is great. Then he goes out front and brings, <laughs> does a whole separate one. Looks like Dave Chappelle won the ghost. God bless him. God bless him. I if Woody Harrelson did that, God bless him. But, you know, look. Dang. The fact that everybody jumped in like that was just very interesting. That shows that the media is controlled. They're all controlled by one certain entity or certain group of people. Yeah. And they all get that phone call and say, you got to push this agenda. You got to talk it. about this. You got to uh, criticize this person. Convince you got to lift the people up. people to yep. believe this. Uh -huh. Like, it's, it's a whole... It's a whole thing, though. It's all a game, and they're all in it together. Yeah. Democrat, Republicans are all in the same demonic game together, so ain't no difference between all of them. Red and blue. Yeah. They mix. Two colors mix. <laughs> they make purple, so. So, we all know they work together, y'all. But y'all comment down below and let us know what y'all think about this video, and, um, yeah, y'all, we're on the road to 600 we're on the road to 600 subscribers, so please go subscribe to our YouTube. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also, check out our Instagrams down below if you want to touch bases with us. And also, we make natural skincare products, so check don't forget out. to click the link down below and go on to our website. Alright, y'all. Peace.